When you're creating or modifying a deployment, one of the configurable parameters is how you handle the inclusion of service packs. So in this particular case, we're modifying a deployment and we'll look at the Autodesk Inventor Fusion product because at this time, AutoCAD 2012 is still quite new and there's no service pack for it, but there is one for the Inventor Fusion plugin. So we'll simply go here, click to open and configure the Inventor Fusion. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and downloaded a service pack for this product. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to include a service pack from a local drive or network. So I can go ahead and add that path in and simply navigate to the place on my network server where I have the service pack that's applicable for this product. That will go ahead and append it to the list here and the service pack will then be appended into the deployment, which will reside on my network server. Therefore, when the user runs this, they'll get the service pack installed and they will not have to wait for it to download across the internet. So this is a very slick way to handle the inclusion of service packs. And of course, over time, your products that live inside of your deployment may have an additional service pack. There may be a service pack too for this product down the road. So in that particular case, you would simply go back and modify the deployment again and swap out the service pack for the appropriate one. So it's a very slick and easy way to handle inclusion of service packs in your deployments.